Hey guys, and welcome to the video here today. I'm going to show those of you who have a modded PS3 the various ways on how you can access your dev flash. Now, the dev flash is where um, all your system files reside. So when you access it, obviously you need to be very careful with what you're doing because you can soft brick your system or even perma brick it. So make sure, again, you know what it is you're doing before you access it. But you would access your dev flash to change all kinds of stuff. For example, you can change uh, the waves in the background. You can change your boot up image, your boot up sound. You can insert your own custom fonts that would display here on the XMB. And that's just barely scraping the surface. There's a lot of stuff you can do by accessing your dev flash. Everything here that I'm going to show you works on custom firmware PS3s that are either Kex or Dex. And just about everything I'm going to show you also works on Hen modded PS3s. If something doesn't work for Hen, I will let you know, but pretty much almost everything does. Again, just make sure you proceed with caution. When you access your dev flash, you can access it a couple of different ways, either through homebrew that's in the PS3, and then you can attach a USB storage device so you can um, transfer files into it or you can access the dev flash via FTP. It's totally up to you, depending on what it is that you're using and your particular situation. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so this first method is for those of you who have a custom firmware PS3 because we'll be using the Rebug Toolbox. And unfortunately, Rebug Toolbox, at least for right now, doesn't work with Hen systems. So those of you who have a Hen modded console, just sit back and relax for a couple of minutes. Those of you who have one on custom firmware, more than likely you already have the Rebug Toolbox. When you go into it and you're in it like I am here, FTP is automatically activated on your PS3 and you can connect using an FTP client. So this method I'm showing you is pretty much strictly only for FTP. So I'm going to open up my FTP client here and connect to my PS3 while I'm in the Rebug Toolbox. And then once we establish the connection, you can see here there is a dev rebug directory and that is your dev flash. So when you go into it, you can now um, send files to wherever they need to go in your dev flash. You can delete files, replace files, whatever it is you want to do. In most places, as you'll see in this tutorial, this directory is actually called dev blind, but team rebug calls it dev rebug. It's the exact same thing. It's just the name of the directory that gives you access to your dev flash. But that's how you would do it if you are in custom firmware and have rebug toolbox and if you plan on using FTP only. And starting from this point forward, everything that I'm going to cover in the rest of this tutorial will be good for everybody. So those who have a PS3 that's either on custom firmware, Kex or Dex or Hen, everything from this point forward covers everyone and will work for both systems. So a quick peek here at Mana Guns. This is the file manager in the popular Mana Guns uh, homebrew game manager and normally when you come here you will not see a dev blind folder that will allow you to write to the dev flash but there actually is a way where you can make it pop up so you can do so uh, by you know hooking up a uh, usb storage device to your ps3 and then transferring the files and whatnot so i just wanted to show you that it's not there right now but you will see it here in a little bit so let's go ahead and head back on over to the xmb Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our webman, make sure if you're on hen, that webman is up and running and activated, and we can access our dev flash from almost anywhere if we enable it in webman. So if we go to webman setup, PS3 webman setup, and I'm using an older version of webman 1.45.10, when you're on custom firmware, you can use any version of Webman you want, any older version. And I like this one because it's before the whole S-Man stuff and before it became just like overly bloated and was causing issues and whatnot. Uh, if you have a newer version, I mean, if you have Hen, then you have to use 
one of the newer versions. If yours doesn't look like this and you have one of the newer versions of Webman, just look for the box that says S-Man GUI, uncheck it, scroll down to the bottom, click save, reboot your system, and when you come back to it, it will have this classic layout, at least something closer to it. Those who have a newer Webman mod, when you get this classic layout, you will see some blue boxes. You can click on those blue boxes to expand certain sections. You will be looking for the box that says enable dev blind on startup. That's what we are looking for, which in this case is right here. So let me go ahead and enable that. Okay, so you want to check mark it just like I did right there. Also make sure disable FTP is not check mark which by default it is not you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom click on save and then reboot your system so let me go ahead and do that i'm going to have to block out my um sid so let's click on save and then let's reboot and i'll meet you back at the xmb okay now we're back at the xmb and from this point on Every time Webman loads up, whether you're on custom firmware, whether you're on Hen, you will now have access to your dev blind. And let's go ahead and open up our FTP client. Again, you could do this from PC, whatever smart device you want or whatever. So now you can see that here, I have the dev blind folder. When I go into it, that gives me access to my dev flash. And once you're here, of course, you can do whatever it is you want. And it's that simple. And you will always have access every time Webman uh, boots up. If you want to stop it, all you need to do is uncheck that box, save it, reboot, and you won't have this anymore. Another thing that you can do when you have set up dev flash in Webman is you can go into any browser and uh, and get into Webman. And honestly, you can do this even when you don't activate dev blind, but if you have activated it, you can get into that folder even through the browser. So all we have to do is in our browser, we type the IP address of our PS3 and you can see we have access to Webman. I believe this even works when Webman is activated. Even if you're running a game or another homebrew, you should be able to access it. And as you can see right here is the dev blind folder. Now we can't upload files, but if you click on something anywhere in any of these directories, you can download it to your device. I believe you can also um, rename files and delete files and stuff like that. Again, just be careful, but you can do that right from the, um, the browser, but it's always best to try and use an FTP client. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back into Mana Guns. So here we are at Mana Guns, and let's go ahead and go into the file manager and check it out. We now have a dev blind folder. You could go into it and access it and do whatever it is you want. Now, the reason why it appears now is because we activated it in Webman mod. When it's activated there and you come into Mana Guns, it will be activated here. What I like about the Mana Guns file manager, not only because I, I like it because of the way it's laid out, but Mana Guns is very USB NTFS friendly. So it works with almost all storage devices that are formatted in NTFS. So it's very easy to transfer files from your USB um, hard drive or flash drive or whatever into your dev blind if it's an NTFS format and there's nothing special you have to do like sometimes you do have to with multi-man that you have to set up a CFG file and do all of this crazy stuff don't have to do that with mana guns so that's how dev blind is accessed if you turn it off in webman mod then it will not be accessible in mana guns anymore Let's head on over now to Multiman. All right, guys, so here we are at Multiman. As, as most of you may know, Multiman comes with its own built in FTP feature. So basically, when you go into the homebrew, you get connected to your home network. If you have it set up, you can see mine is connected and the PS3's IP address is right down here. The good thing about this is because it comes with its own FTP, you don't even have to have Webman installed at all. 
when you're in multi-man, you can access your dev blind either through the file manager and even through FTP if you set it up real quick. It's super easy. For this demonstration, I've turned off the dev blind or write to dev flash feature. I've turned it off in Webman and I've also turned off FTP in Webman. But again, Webman doesn't even have to be installed for this to work. So let's go ahead and open up the FTP client here and log in. And I can log in because I am connected or I have multi-man running. As you can see, I can access everything, but there is no dev blind folder, at least not yet. Let's close out of that. Let's go into the file manager. Let's go into the PS3's root directory and you can see there is no dev blind folder here either. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's head back to the main menu. We're going to go into settings and just scroll all the way down to the bottom. And right at the end, you'll see right access to dev flash. Now it might be the last one or it might be like the third or second to last, but wherever it's at, you want to enable it. And then once it's enabled, if we go back into the file manager, you can see that the dev blind folder is now there. You can access it and do whatever you like. You can transfer files from your USB to your uh, dev blind and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's head on back to our main menu. And if we go into our FTP client, now that we've enabled dev flash, you can see that now the dev blind folder pops up here. So with an FTP client, we can access it as long as we've enabled it in Multiman and as long as Multiman is up and running. And again, whether you even have Webman mod installed or not, whether you have the right to dev flash turned on in Webman or not, doesn't matter. As long as you have it enabled here, we can access it a couple of different ways. And that's pretty much it, guys. And that will do it for the video today. So I appreciate you guys watching. And if you found anything here helpful, useful, informative, and you want to throw any type of appreciation, gratitude, support, or just love to the channel, the best way to do any of that is just to hit the like button. And don't forget to check out the other playlists that are on here. There's more PS3 tutorials, there's Switch tutorials, and a bunch of other stuff. And everything keeps getting added to and it keeps growing and expanding much love going out there to everybody be careful be safe take care have fun and we will see you on the next one